good now. Awesome. Now we can see everything. So right now we've got one up on Cuffing Seasonal. Cesar really takes advantage of these ledges where he will, he will stand down around the edge and lift the ledge. So right now we've got Techno Babes and Cuffing Seasonal. Right on the edge. So right now we got Tucker right. Babes and Tucker Babes. Babes getting their fifth berry in. Blue on the left hand side. It's going to speed up here. There we go. Alright, we got one warrior for each team now. Both are, uh, we got two Good warriors defense up, up there for gold on the blue hide, denying both of the drones. And the queen's coming up to try to help clear it. Blue. Oh, there we go. Two free. Blue's, Blue's got, got a good take advantage going of it. right now. They need to take advantage of that immediately. And then they're they really two. good uh, guarding their hunt. And a queen kill for blue. Coming from, coming from blue skulls here. One queen left for gold. And they're down Another on econ. Blue skulls. I wonder if uh, anyone can guess who that is. He doesn't really play any other character. Mm, kind of. And there you go, a hat trick for Dan. Dan, Dan, he's our man. He can play warrior. Yes, he can. That was a trick question. It was Dan on uh, Blue Skulls. It's his favorite character. I'm pretty sure he owns like three skull hoodies. He does. In his closet. He does have a lot of skull stuff. He might be a voodoo witch doctor, we're not really sure, but uh, uh whatever helps. His, his speed warrior is pretty magical. Um, and when we say magical, we mean sexy magical. Sexy magic. Not course. like you not know like Harry Potter magic. Not like David Blade magic. No, no. Yeah. Or <laughs> uh, or Penn and Teller. None of those what? none of those cheap parlor tricks. Well, Penn and Teller are amazing. Well, they, oh, I, I'm not saying they're not amazing. Oh, but, but you're talking a different type of magic. Well, I mean uh, I don't think of them as sexy person. Oh, well, I guess you're I guess you're not watching the right pen and tell. I guess not. So Maybe yeah. I'm in the minority there. Possibly. A, nice, a nice clear by Blue Queen. Oh, Caesar's looking good. Economy's pretty fairly matched at the moment. We were worried about Caesar Caesar playing for this tournament. Oh, the commentator Curse mentioning it. But we were worried about him playing in this tournament because he hasn't really played a lot during the arcade because he has been taking a little time off for studies. Yeah, you know, he's in a new program, Physics. Um, and applied really now. Well. In fact, uh, some of his classmates came last night to practice, so he's been here the last two nights to get warm for the tournament. And you know what? I think he really has. He's gotten his. He's, he's gotten better during this tournament. To he's be gotten honest. warm, but I, you know, he's getting hunted here. And uh, great, you know, he, he knew what to do. He baited Gold Queen. He's not he's not worried. I think he uh, the panic might have set in a little bit, but I think he's calmed down. All right, Gold's got one more life to play with. Caesar is on his last. Gold has one berry away. See what happens here. Oh, sweeping out the kill. Paul's nuzzling his way in. Oh, and the berry from the side. Gold. That is it. The win for that. So, uh, so he's tied at one, yeah? Yeah. Right. No, actually, gold up by two. Oh, gold up, gold by, up two. by one. Oh, okay. Two one. They did win the first match. Hi, what, might hi, have seen it. Hi, Clen Mean, 911 from Kansas. Thanks for tuning in. Kansas. Oh, we're glad you're on the stream. Say hi to say hi to Barry and Roe for me. And everyone from and everyone from Chicago. Some of our favorite Kansas City people over there. Bump it a bump it a bump. I hope I, I hope they're nice and don't wreck you guys too much. Ooh, and Gold Queen with that just just That's Paul. It's what he does, you know? He plays that ledge so well. He can go in there and take those risks. And I was gonna come back up to his. Oh, see what oh, I'm. Oh, look at that nudge! New, New look at that nudge! Uh, special New York. That's a shame. All the nudging from Cesar. Look at that. Uh, Paul's gonna come up and try to pick. There's a lot of swarm action going on in the middle of the map. It seems like uh, warriors aren't really kind of kind of uh, doing a hunt here right now. Clearing it all out. Gold just running it. Yeah, it looks like Blue's running to panic with the ledge guard there. Uh, Oh, another so kill for Paul Paul is, is so is, good at taking that over? Is this? No, I, I think he's he's got a chance here. Don't call him out yet. They need they need more. They need four berries on the gold side. Oh, that's, oh, that's it. And you know, it was, it, was a, it was a smart move by Cesar to go for that warrior kill, but. When you have the queen coming up like that, you really got to avoid all bounces, all all dives. 
Especially on last life, it's just not worth it to go for those kills. You gotta scrape, scrape, scrape. You gotta take the risk. You gotta, to come up to you gotta the even it out. You gotta yeah. figure out where your uh, advantages are. All right, so uh, Techno Babies, or Babes in Techno Land. If you're looking like at the, we are updating the uh, Chow Long right now. Just lost to Cuffing Seasonal. Cuffing, Cuffing Seasonal moves on in the winner's bracket. Techno Babes is going to the losers. They're going to be playing the, the uh, Blue Salty Barberry. What? Well. The K Cura team, let's just leave it at that. Yes. <laughs> you know, Sean, we did have a good game, good series against them. Yeah, we did. We did I'll, all right. I'll have to look at the replay there. You know. I think we all did a good job. I'm proud of everybody on my team. Yeah. What what is it? What is it? I'm sorry, Bart's about to tell me. Three blue salty barberry and 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 Bar with a D in parentheses, maybe, you know, I don't know if you forgot his English syntax. Barberry. Oh. See? Oh, now you get the moan. I thought it was Burberry it's at no, first. No, it's Barberry. I read, I read that as a U, so I was thinking Burberry. Oh, know, like, like the uh, Burberry. Yeah, yeah, like a yeah. Burberry jacket. Burberry yeah. jacket. No, that would be weird. But it's not. It's Barberry. Well, we, we don't have any Richards who play this game, unfortunately. So no. Uh, we don't have a dick in Burberry, but... Um, but they've got Burberry they, dicks. They do. Barberry. Dick's Sporting Goods, I think, has Burberry rifles. No, Bar they, they Barberry. Don't. Like Barberry? Oh, yeah, forget it. I get it. I get it. Barberry. Three blue salty ones. We can't put the whole name up We're there. We're here with Caesar. We just played, uh... How'd that, how'd that series go for you? You're in the losers now? You feel, you feel warmed up? You're, uh... Uh, getting away from yourself, maybe on that All right. last one. So blue yeah. is three blue salty uh, barbarian uh, dicks. Yeah. I don't know how well they could hear you, but <laughs> he's just saying he messed up a couple. But uh, you know, he, he doesn't seem. You messed up a lot. He doesn't, no, he doesn't seem to look phased at all. You he, did. You did very well. He's well accustomed to coming back from the losers bracket. If you all remember, uh, Killer Queen Ten and Cesar's team came back to actually win the first series in the finals, but uh, fell to Portland in the second series. F Portland. Yeah, they're probably all sleeping right now. It's yeah, they're not even. Friends. Yeah, they're not even up. Or they're or they're stroking their beards and you know, it's putting like, their flannel on. I don't know. It's only like three o'clock over there, so yeah. they're probably napping. They're probably. I, I think I think siestas are big in Portland. That's what I hear anyway. All right, so those, those three blue salty barbarian dicks are CB Rishi, Mark Cole, and Bart. Uh, we have Blue Queen uh, challenging mid. And that's Gold Queen's coming down here. We got both gates though. All gates now on gold. Blue has no warrior up yet. Gold has a warrior up. Gold has another warrior coming at, while Blue is getting their first. But they're running Snail and it's doing it's a pretty convincing job. They, they moved it about uh, a fifth of the way there. Uh, a little miscommunication. Looked like both of the drones wanted to go. You got one speed drone running a berry and the other slow drone running the Snail. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. but uh, Probably not what should have been happening. But it's okay. Blue. That blue speed drone somehow doesn't have a, a berry in hand. Probably needs one. There you he know, goes. Finally it's, gets it. It seems like uh, the blueberry barbarians or whatever. The blue uh, barbarian the, dicks. The three blue barbarian dicks or whatever. Uh, yeah, they just they don't seem to have a really set night map strategy. They're kind of all over the place here. I think they're they're trying to move that snail. Look at that. They're they're moving it. They are, um, but they're also letting a lot of berries in now. Uh, gold with only five berries left. Blue's are pretty close, considering that they're just moving the snail a little bit, moving. They're, they're keeping a warrior out. If they could just focus on running those berries, Blue would have it. They don't have a ledge guard. They haven't had a ledge guard. Yeah, and gold only with one warrior up, now getting a second, finally. Blue putting weird pressure on. Yeah, Blue started to uh, really pick up their economy game. Oh, but, the berry but gold has a free berry there, so. So does Blue. All right. Blue Gold only with the one berry lead and the snail is very close behind. They're gonna, have to, they're gonna have to bring they're gonna have to bring that warrior out to help that snail. Oh. And oh. Queen's in a tough position. She can't move here. She needs to get that she needs to get that warrior kill. Yeah. Oh, oh, warrior oh. and that was brutal. Maybe a little bit of BM right now, uh, trying to get a family portrait going. Oh, a little queen, a little queen dance going on. A little queen dance, and uh, it looks like that snail is gonna come through, and they got it. 
second snail victory of the day. in tournament play yeah. today. That's pretty good. Team, you know, and yeah. they, did, they did it on day map versus us. Night map. So, uh, one nothing to the blue barbarian dicks. Who knew? Aaron getting a little flustered on the right side. Yeah, he seems a little angry at the moment, but uh, you know, he just needs to calm down. He just was, he had some good, you know, good challenges. I think uh, towards the end, maybe he got a little uh, a little ahead of himself. Uh, you know, tried to get some dives where maybe he should have should have delegated that to a warrior. It seems like split strap uh, strat is viable. They've um, they barely won one series. And uh, they just won the first round versus this team. So, Blues locked down all the gates, uh, but they do have a warrior disadvantage. Blue trying to get that second warrior up, but crushed. Good pincer attack. Gold is running a high economy right here. They only have five berries left. And uh, warrior advantage and got their second queen kill. It looks... Uh, it looks pretty good for uh, gold right now. Let's see what happens. Tied at Warriors. Blue back up with two Warriors. Dual ledge guarding, and the Queen's coming in here to uh, try to make sure that that economy doesn't uh, follow through. Gold Queen leaving. If she's got to. Of course. They're going to run the snail. Look at this. Oh, what a kiss. Sometimes Queens just want to... You know, want to kiss each other. They don't want to. No, they don't want to kill. They just want to like. Sometimes, it out. sometimes they want to have tea and you know talk about life. It's difficult being a queen. A little tea and a little a. You gotta, you gotta pump out drones all day and. Yeah. You know. No, that's what they're about. Try to. Oh look at that! Just letting oh, it. Oh, and gold. Oh, there it is. The win. And that's, and that's free cargo for you. Boom. There you go. Woo! Economy victory for and... gold. So we tie that one. Yes! I don't know if you guys know Chris, Chris Cads, Chris Tinder Cads just ran some epic, <laughs> epic berries right there. We only call him that because he's so handsome. He is a very, very attractive man, and believe. And I think he's single. Ladies. I believe single. Yeah. You're a very attractive man too. Oh, well, and I know so. you're single. Well, uh, kind of more or less. That's all right. It's more a stream. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Let's open none of my. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not, all. Which which one? I'm not gonna mention her name. <laughs> So we, we don't offend anyone. Uh, Gold is doing a really great job of um, locking down these gates. Uh, oh, Gold blue, and blue without. Just, they just got their first warrior up, but uh, Gold has two warriors. Blue can't get that second warrior up yet. Oh, but look at this! Blue tying it up on berries. That quick. It looks like they're. Uh, uh -oh. it looks like they're just dedicating. Uh, you know, if they can't get that second warrior up, they're just gonna run. They're gonna run berries in. There's only one ledge guard for Gold. Not ideal, but. Oh. This is a team that doesn't play here very often, but they do have their own cab here in Chicago. Yes, they, they do. Work, uh, so. at, at their um, at their place of employment. I will decline to say the name, although I've been mentioning it all stream. It's a nice cabinet. They take good care of it. There has been some drama in the workplace, but we won't get into that. Oh, one, two. And... Wow. How some they, some they, excellent berry running here. It's from like they Megan read, and Chris. I think. They read off no, each other. They uh, knew Adam, where the other one was Adam going. And Chris. Regardless, whoever it was, they uh, you know really did a great team effort. Didn't even have to who's running, who's running berries for gold? Everybody. I can't see, my eyes aren't that good. The computer monitor is kind of small. Gold with that middle Gold. opening. Gold. Seems like everybody's going for that middle opening. I haven't seen much of uh, blue. Much, much in the way of any other kind of opening on day. Blue's now. opening is droning snail and distracting the queen. Look at that. And it, and it worked. Let the uh, drones down. Yeah, but they've got look. They've got oh. berries in. Now Gold, Gold has uh, all warriors, all gates. Blue's trying to get a warrior up there. They got middle, but they can't get a drone there. Blue Queen is forcing to is being forced to ledge guard here. Can't get a gate for her hive. Finally gets one popped up at right. It's just a vanilla. Oh, oh and Gold with a really nasty kill. 
That was that, 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 was that a hurt great, me. Great little bait out right there yeah. by Aaron on the gold side. You know, you got to be real careful because that if, if that queen can hold that uh, you know hold that hover around the corner on that ledge, they're gonna have the advantage every time. Remember, I told you about gate lockdown. And we're watching it happen right now. Yeah. You saw it. Three. What did happen? They had the gates, yeah. locked them down, had the two drones running the entire time, they couldn't get a ledge guard up, and... You know, and there was a bit of a staggered start by Gold Queen, too. I think, you know, he missed that dive initially, but that kind of worked in his favor, because, uh, you know, then he was able to come after the Blue Queen and kind of play a little catch-up, but Blue Queen was out of position with that, with that snail right off the bat. All right, so now we have, I guess, what we call the finals. Yeah, it's, it's been That's a it. short tournament, only seven teams today. No, I think we have a uh, loser's finals right now, right? Yeah, it's all oh, that's right. We have losers finals first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Sean. So we have a uh, we have Cochondo del Mundo, who's the last team? Or the team that just played on gold versus Techno Babes, Babes in Techno Land, uh, Cesar and Aaron squaring off here. Cesar and Aaron, we wanted to see this matchup. I it. No, I it's a losers this. finals, but we only had seven teams, so right after this uh, will be the finals. So stay tuned. You? Real intense rock paper scissors game going on right now. Oh, and Josh lost the rock paper scissors. You team. always throw scissors. You know, I I won every single every single rock paper That's scissors. That's sick, bro. bro. Yeah, I'm a little you're, proud of that. Three for that. three. That's nice. It helps being a little. Psycho. Remember that you always throw scissors. Well, I didn't throw scissors once, I don't think. Really? Yeah. Man, you're good. Rock, paper, rock, paper. Mm. Knocked him out. We were blue all night, so I like blue. It's easier on my eyes. Hey, can you watch this? <laughs> blue. Because I don't know if that's yeah, true. <laughs> uh, it's more calming. I get less worked up. Something Caesar, though. Come on. Anything with orange or red hues makes me angry. I get filled with rage. And I don't want to damage the cabinet. Huh. Kind of, I'm kind of like a bull. Huh. El Toro. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, Rocker standard OP, that's true. I agree with calculus homework. Uh, you know, scissors is kind of a, it's a nude move. Really not a viable strategy. You can win just as well with rock or paper. You don't even need to bother with scissors. Okay. Paper, you know, there was, there was a paper amazing, is the new meta. That's true. You know, I didn't I didn't read it, but I know that there was a beautiful paper written on winning rock paper scissors, increasing your chances. By of who? Winning. By uh, like no, a, a mathematician. Well, a mathematician and also psychologist. Also, uh, they talked to the uh, national rock paper scissors champion, oh. uh, which they uh, that's not me. No, no that's they well they had like a thousand people or something show up and all play rock paper well, scissors. As interesting as that is, the match out. just started. So, well, that's um, more interesting than Killer Queen. Got one warrior coming out at blue uh, left game. Oh. oh, and a quick kill by blue. All right, blue Gold queen putting herself out of position there, trying to get that, trying to get that gate for her team, get that second warrior up. Finally, does that middle. Oh, blue trying to be bullies here, but not taking it. They're really not uh, able to lock down that hive, but blue's econ is is a little bit further ahead right now. It's it's another weird. Watch another it. lazy kill. Looks like Gold is, uh, you know, just trying to trying to get that warrior gate up, but uh, putting herself out of position, making herself vulnerable to that Blue Queen. I think Blue Queen is in hunt mode right now. She's just trying to lock down those gates, and with wow. only three berries left, why not? She's got two lives on her. Really, all she needs to do now is just support her drones, and it's, uh... Could oh. it be a kick-in? Are we gonna do a soccer play? Oh! Hey, play! play. Look at that. Somebody played a little bit of soccer before they... And you know what? They didn't even need to get all Nico in. Just uh, did it the old-fashioned way. Decapitation. Techno bullies. Techno bullies, yeah. Looking good. Season's playing very strong. One of the, one of the few military victories we've had today. Really haven't been a lot of military victories so far. There's been like a handful, but... You know, maybe like two, three? Maybe yeah, as many as Snail victories. A lot of been, uh... Yeah, most, most have been Econ all day. It seems everybody's running the 2-2 two -two strategy. Um, with, with the exception of, uh... The barbarians who, uh... You know, like to do that 1-1 one -one Snail split. 
All right, here we go. Gold coming up on berries right now. They got one extra in. And Gold's really stepping up their econ game here. Doesn't look like, uh... There you go. Blue's, Blue's ledge card is back up. Oh, and Gold with a nice queen kill there. Able to go out and get, get her uh, get her hive some, some gates. But being marked and chased. Oh, and a, a tough turn. Blue Skull Shirt is just uh, really holding it down at their own hive. Making sure those berries can get in, but Gold is far ahead at the moment. The Blue catching up with a free hive. And uh, Gold's only up by two, only up by one now. 5v4 on berries, but Gold's on last life. And down a warrior. And down two warriors now. And a good, a good, good clear kill. out though. Good kill by Gold Queen and a good stop Gold needs to lock right down those gates. Lane. And another good kill by Gold Queen. Oh, and a bad hop. Just. Go when he should have flapped. It's 2 0. That was Dylan. Yeah, I, Dylan I, I don't know. Uh, who's running? Oh, can somebody uh, run the. Yeah, can somebody add the. It's, it's, it's 2 nothing blue right now. Got it. Sorry, Sorry. about that. Yeah, we had uh, Megan was working on it. Now she's uh, she's playing. Yeah, that was my job before I, you know, took took a took a break. Um, all right. Oh, good pushover for Queen. That's gold bit, gold that's good why start. you need to challenge center. Yeah, I mean that's what I was doing, and it was working for us on night map. I don't think we lost in night map. Well, serious. Unfortunately, we need to win day maps too. Aaron just missed it. Dylan's coming into play. Dylan likes to put pressure on Aaron. Trying to close some gates here, get some speed gates up. For Blue's looking for another warrior. They're getting out of the middle. Then they're gonna get another one. Oh, uh, Blue Ledge Guard is uh, struggling here. Now it's got a second warrior up. Though. So. Uh, it's I spoke oh. too soon. Warriors down. Blue only with one ledge guard. Doing a good job, but uh, doing great play. Gold Queen looking to clear that blue ledge guard and does a great job of getting that berry in. So we have, oh, and Gold Queen with the beautiful dive to get that other warrior. Gold, no warriors at the moment though, but uncontested hive. Blue is not, uh, Gold is not ledge guarding rather. Gold has no warriors on. Blue, now they don't, yeah. Oh, yeah, Blue's got two on ledge. Blue. Gold just got their uh, their warrior up, their ledge guard up. Just, Rack. I can't hold it. Here we go, what's gonna happen here? One, two. There's only two berries left. Oh! oh. Gold. The one last. There it is. Coming in. There, right berry. down. Oh, it's in. Uncontested. Dave's, uh, Blue three and Odom. 3 0. Dave's in Technoland advance to the finals. That was a good run by. Oops, sorry. Cachando del Mundo. That's Spanish. Yeah. For, for what? Cachondo, the Mundo, Champions of the World. Oh, nice. Or Cachondo. Cachondo is no Champions is uh, Cachondo. It's like what are you saying? What is Cachondo? I have no idea. What's Cachondo? Yeah, Jobbers. Let's go with that. Okay. Job. What is it? Jobbers. Jobbers. Like in wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the finals of KQ11 here at Logan Arcade. We got through a quick one today. This is nice. We're out of here before, like, you know, 6 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock now. We're about to start the finals. Remember, we do have a loser's bracket winner and the main bracket winner. Loser's bracket comes and wins best 07, right? Yeah. We could go one best of seven or two best of sevens, depends on how it goes. And CM Punk. All right, sorry. Wrestling has nothing. We do, we do not endorse the WWE. Horny, sexy. Ah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Is that really what that means? I was thinking so. It's like so it's like the, the sexy. Chando del Mundo Chando is del sexy. Mundo is like the sexiest of the world. The, the, yeah, the hot, hottest, hot hottest world. Of the world. World is hot. No, it's like the the sexiest of the world. Yeah, the the stuff. The world the world is hot. Yeah. So it's like tattooing. Yeah. yeah. 
No, no, it's nothing like. It's not like Tatooine. Oh. That has ta Tatooine has. Uh, oh, pop quiz for anyone listening. Oh, here Star Wars is coming out. How many really? stars? How many stars does Tatooine orbit around? Uh, two double sun. You were supposed to let the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you you it were looking at me. I know fast. I was looking at you, but I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, well, is it two? It is. Two. Oh, okay. Oh, they name the colors. What colors are they? They're actually different colors in the movie. They are different colors. You're gonna have to go all the way back to the original Star Wars for the answer to that one. One billion trillion gazillion stars. I think that's wrong, but it's an accurate number. Yeah, no, two is correct. Calculus. Thank you. Sean ruined it, but uh, oh well. Oh yeah, putting the putting the engine. I don't work for Disney, but I'm really excited about Star Wars coming out next week. Yeah. I was doing such a good job. Well, I'm getting kicked off by Aaron. He's a little salty that he lost. Salty? I'm thrilled. We made, we made third place. Yeah! I'm thrilled. Commentator in third place. That makes me feel good. Yeah. I'm happy to share. It's great. All right, here we go. Uh, that's Helen, the seven. We're starting on night map. Helen like just here. asked me to uh, crack her back, so I might have to go over there and touch Helen a little bit. <laughs> well, maybe after the round, but for oh, now. No, I'm going to do that two. on cam for everybody. Oh, goes down to Cesar. Wow, it's right back, oh. though. Wow, nice job, Cesar. Coming out fresh. Just played the last round. Been a little awesome. Well played. Last time these two teams played, it was a 3 1 for uh, coming seasonal, right? Yeah. So we're going to see if they can come back and do the same thing again. But I believe Cesar has been warming up a lot during yeah. this game. Yeah. Now, I don't think they've, they've left the blue cat either, so no, that's interesting. That's true. And they might have 3 0 us, but I feel like we did give him uh, some stuff he had to work yes. on. Dan went straight after Paul trying to get that last kill, and Paul turned around and killed him. Paul's not going to let that happen too often. What, the third kill? The third kill with the speed rush, Warrior rushing straight out. Excellent, straight excellent use of the bump of the Warrior. Oh, and a good run under. Uh, Gold, nice, take nice, it nice two. Man, so here we go. And the uh, Cuffing Seasonal needs four berries, though. And they're in good shape with all the military strength of blue. Let's move over to guard that high. Gold Eco's ahead, but they are out of green lines. Yeah, Paul's, Paul's in trouble here, but he's going to stay away and he'll die. We'll see if he takes out Dan here. Up, nope. down goes uh, Cesar. Cesar. Nice kill by Chris, uh, uh, sorry, Ellen. And Helen Dan, uh, Dave are going to have to do a lot of work here with Paul on his Helen last line. Dan. So here we are, three Contest? three berries left for gold. Uh, five left for gold. Paul is awesome. trying to move over. He's trying, to, he's trying to ledge a little bit here. He's got all the gates. Cesar moves out and grabs one. But Dylan and Dan haven't died in a long time, and they've really tightened this match up. And dangerous play there by Helmut. Oh. Helmut takes out Dan, oh, and Dylan man. gets the kill. Two left. The one D is still standing, the other D is down. But there it is, Cesar with the dive kill. Beautifully done. Just waiting it out. one nothing in this first best of seven. If uh, Techno Babes wins four, they're going to do it again. Another best of seven. Standard Logan Arcade rules here for finals. We're alternating day and night nap. Best of seven. Best of seven. Because it's the finals. Yeah, and these teams just played each other, and this has been a real good tournament, I think, in terms of skill level. We haven't had some of our usual teams in it, but we've had some real high matches. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he's a lot of stuff. I've been part of a lot of them, apparently, and I've been doing a lot of yelling, and I feel bad about it. Oh, but, that's uh, all right, buddy. Sometimes you know? just yell Oh, that's just oh, how you are, Aaron. We know you're, we know you're a nice guy. <laughs> sometimes. Well, and you know. When you say, fuck you. I say, fuck yeah. I didn't say fuck you. Anyway. Okay. Well, no, I never say fuck you. I love my, I love people. Like there are children watching the street. We don't have to be such potty mouths like it's Helen. True. true. Helen's been cursed. Fun, fun fact, Sean, Helen, and I all have leopard print shoes. Oh, on we haven't what? shown the shoes. And leopard we haven't even, shoes? yeah, we haven't even, oh. we didn't even talk about that. Let's get on the stream, I agree. Uh, and here, uh, both Dan and Dylan are high guard, uh, ledge guarding here. And Cesar's going to do work on the clear eye out. Yeah, it's one of his high. Yeah. And we're about even on berries. Paul's going to go up there, he gets out. He's going to go over to the blue high and try to guard. Dan and Dylan are basically flying oh, together. They might They're as well like, be tethered to each other. Oh, and Paul like, loses or holding his first hands. Line. Yeah, it's quite amazing. And then Dan moves to the other side. Played. The berry in. Paul just looking to just keep his oh, high point. Oh, made the made the price good. Oh, he dives dangerous. Oh, no, no. And Dan too dangerous. Hey, not a not a good dive there. Here we go. Paul. Look at this. Walking it down. Dan's gonna get One, you every three. time like that. If you, yeah, if you if dive you into the option, if you dive into the middle of two warriors and a, and a, and a, a queen, you're probably not gonna get out alive. And 
Yeah, hell of a bounce. Especially Blue Skull here, you know, he's practiced that. That's what, that's what he's best at, is uh, really getting the Queen out of position. And so we got uh, up here, we got Helen down oh, to Dylan. Oh, wow. And uh, did it, you know, tried to clear it out and couldn't get it done. But both gold barrier runners are still going to try oh, to get it and they die. Locking down that economy for gold. That yeah. is so tough right now. So. Trying to get a second warrior in, gold does, but it doesn't really matter. Only three left for blue. Three berries left for blue, four for gold. Both teams have ledge cards up. Helen's gonna go try to clear. Just misses Dylan. And there it is. Two military in a row. Cesar taking out all. Techno Bay's up 2 1. Yeah. Are we gonna get coming Cecil? Oh no, 2 0. Or is it 2 1? No, 2 0. No, it's like a So under two matches. Now back to that. Come out on fire. Techno Bay's trying to take what's there. They came out of losers. We'll show our shoes after the finals. Came out of losers bracket in KQX. Steve, you're about to be uh, <laughs> they came out of loser's bracket last time and forced the reset. We'll see if they can do it again here. It seems likely. At least at this point with the way they've been playing in over the last about five games or so. That's right. Coming out of loser's bracket, you got to win two best of sevens, not just one. So Right. And there's Paul pushing it and got turned around on by Cesar. Oh, I feel like Paul's on uh, tilt a little bit here. Uh, he's doing some things. He's being a little aggressive where he doesn't need to be. Oh, oh the double kill. By. Garza doing a great job on the ledge. Only two berries in for uh, Gold Blue so far. I feel like uh, Dave Garza is probably the best night and half ledge guard in Chicago. Uh, I think he's up there. Uh, left, he's, left he's Orleans probably the best ledge guard I've seen on night and half. Uh, Dave's definitely up there. He's got great reaction time on Silver where that what, drone's yeah. coming in. And he, he's rarely out of position. Rarely. They have two berries in at this stage. The snail hasn't moved. And uh, Gold's in wonderful position here. He's four berries in as long as Paul stays alive and dodges Dan and uh, Dylan and Cesar. Uh, gold gold will not much economy right for now. blue, so if they stick with their plan, I think Gold will uh, take this one off. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Dave's doing a great job on ledge. He doesn't need any help at all. They're not challenging him. They're not clearing it up. But Cesar's going to try here. But Garzon, oh, and down goes Garzon. I jinxed him. Three berries left for Gold. No warriors left for Gold. Oh, and Gold oh, got, got trapped. Trapped by two warriors, and down he goes. So now we got free cargo for Blue. Can they catch us up? Can they Can they shrink? They're not the running the berries in. I don't know what they're Gold doing. Stripes is David Garzon. Oh, they could have had both of them. Wow, free cargo. Dylan holding down the gold edge. Wow, in they go though. Two berries left. Nice running by Carl Marshall. Yes. Running berries for gold. He's a berry season practice berry runner. And uh, he can eventually be able to get these two berries in as long as Paul stays alive. What's coming down to right now is just Blue's not getting the jumps that they need to get into the high. They're taking too long. They're not getting the looks that they need. Like that ledge miss. Got to make that every time. We're going to go a 4-2 game, and that, oh, wow. gold checkers couldn't get in. Will Carl get in here? The bounces, the bounces, nope. Man, gold abs. Meanwhile, Blue is up. Only oh, needs three. Right is, they really shrunk this because this was very different not too long ago. Tied up. Cesar dodges away from Garza. Gold can't buy a berry at this point. Nice kill by Garza. Wow, the berry oh, right and the two. And they can't get in. One, one berry left for Dylan. Blue. Blue and there it is. This will do it. One berry sitting in the hive. And Blue rallies back from a huge berry deficit. Dylan, Dylan played unbelievable. Yeah, Blue, Blue Abs just killed it with that ledge guard. Really well done by Dylan. The double D's coming at you. Dan and Dylan. Reset's about to happen. This is a crushing reset. You don't see this. Coming out of the loser bracket, what is three straight? Yeah, and they, they've really turned this around, Techno Babes. They won six straight rounds now, count the last match they played. And it doesn't look like anybody stopping them. Do you Dan think Cesar is, is really on fire now? Is he, is he officially really on fire? caught back up. He's looking good. He's making some his dives. Fire. His dives are great. And Dylan, Dylan's a player, man. He's playing really well on this ledge right now, and nobody's killing him. So Dan's protecting him, moving around with the Speed Warrior. And he's doing a good job keeping uh, you know, everything in place. And yeah, good team chemistry. Oh, Dan, dangerous position oh, there. Gets out. out. Well, nice loop. Nice loop to get out and come back. We're not even on Barry so far, but a kick in there by uh, Gold Abs. Oh. Falling on the ledge with speed. Oh, and goes well, the queen was out on that one. Oh, bait and a switch. If you're gold here, I mean, do you put a lot of resources in this, or do you just kick, pump oh. this round and go to the reset? Keep going, Nico. Oh, well, no. I mean, you, you, punch, you, you punch never, never want to give up. I don't you know. know. You're, you're going. You're going to go. Never want to give up. True. I mean, you should play around, but like, you know, they only got so many taps in one hour, you know, before you start getting tired. So does the other team, though. You can, yeah. Especially Cesar, who's a little oh, bit of practice. Over. Yeah. Either way, they need four wins straight to win. It's true. It's tough. It's an uphill, uphill, you know, battle to climb here. 
and uh, they're losing the round as well because Blue's getting very zen. And I feel like oh, they should take a breath, kills. take a little time off uh, if, if they lose this round, and we talk about what they're doing here. Yeah, there's a free hive for Blue right now. Gold doesn't have a ledge guard up. They don't have any warriors up. In fact, just finally got their first going right to the ledge. Oh, wow. we've only Damn. Damn. two berries oh, left. Right. And a great bounce. Damn, showing some emotion with that kill. Yelling, boom, taking out Paul. And Paul is in trouble here. One, One berry left, left yeah, for he's in. And they're Get out of the oh. way! The berry came out of the hole. Oh, oh God, no We are on last life, and they can't jump in. They got it. it. Well, you can oh. hear how crazy it is here right now. Wow, if he had turned around and killed him at the end, they almost ended it. But there's the reset. And we're gonna have gold take So take, what does this mean now? What is, what is the reset? A bit of a time out. It means well. Here we go. They're gonna have to do another best of seven here, and this is the same two call. teams. The same two teams. That's crazy. The exact same positions on the cabinet, yeah. starting on the same map that started on the first one. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Which sides if it's reset? Jokes of random drug screening, which probably would clear out this entire arcade. Who's talking about that? Like a rookie man. Drug tester and invasion of privacy set up on a man. Here we go. Cuffing Cecil. Techno babes. It is hype. It is real. We got a little hug. Oh. We got, we got, we're hugging over here by Cuffing Cecil. They got to sort of reestablish what they're doing here. They've had some good berry leads, and they have not been able to keep them. Mainly because Dan and Dylan have been winning the Warrior Bands. Um, yes. And, and uh, Dylan, Dylan's stepping up more than I thought he possibly could. He's been playing a lot of this game, and he's a darn fine player. Here we go. Night now. Techno babes, loving seasonal. Look at the, look at the best of boom, seven. Boom. Everybody oh, bumped off each other. Love that. Jumping in. Nicely done. Two berries in both teams. And cracking out is Dave Garza. He's uh, being locked in by Dylan, but he's going to protect this side. So if you're not going to let's guard me, I'm not going to let's guard you. Oh. A nice bump by Dan into oh, Dylan, taking out Garza. Was... It's almost like they practiced that move. Not too pretty. I don't know. I don't know what I think. A nice kill by Helen, taking out Dan. Really well played. And Cesar's gonna try to clear out his hive, but oh! nice turn around by Helen with the kill! Helen's showing up to play in this reset, and Gold has got free cargo. She got pushed off, Mary Ann, five for both teams. Oh, oh nice kill! Paul oh, running only getting through. one in on that free cargo run. They have the entire map, and they take Dylan out. That is what this might come down to. It's the ability to kill Dylan in the hive. Oh, there it is. They do, and they're wide open, jumping there in Carl. Is. Oh, man, so they quick. barely died to Cesar. Cesar needs to get some free cargo. Barry's left for Gold. No worries. For for blue. Gold right now, except for their ledge guard. So. And Helen's on it. Oh, missed the dive. Can we get in, Carl? No, you can't. You got killed. Unreal. Unbelievable. Underneath kick by Gold Abs. They missed it, though. Two left for Gold, five left for Blue. Cesar needs to kill Dave Garzon. Somebody needs to kill Dave Garzon. Somebody needs to kill Helen. I think we have a bit of a reality check for Gold here. They realize they're... Gut check, no. for sure. And they've come out to triple in this Maybe. round. Oh, what a kill by yeah. Dylan taking out Garzon. So and, that barrier and the go. match is very close because they're about to get another barrier in. Oh, good and that's clear. It. And that's it. What Gold a kill by Paul. Unbelievable. They came, they came out to play for this series. Uh -huh. Definitely. Nice Gold job, Paul. You really did a good job clearing that hat. Really did. Nice job. So Paul, he's got a smile on his face. Oh, here's a little bonus game. game fun for you. He's got his uh, smile back on his face. Man, oh. Bonus man means absolutely nothing, kids, so don't worry about it. We are just gonna go through this. Oh, oh and that counts as a round. Wait, I'm kidding. <laughs> Only on the not, only on the finals does that count. I'm kidding. Nice job. Here we go, round two. It got real quiet you in here. You tricked us, Aaron. Everybody got quiet. <laughs> I, think was just, I, think it was, I think it was just anger at you for that. <laughs> that was just not pleasant. Just like, Aaron, what? Man, uh, so here we go, uh, round two. Cuffing seasonal up one nothing in this best of seven in Herman. Who is the KQ11 champion? Paul Watson. You feel it? He's needed this number tournament queen championship. We'll see if he can get it. He's just trying to prove that he is good enough to hang with the big boys in a regular tournament here at Logan. Well, I think he proved it uh, last oh, season. Yeah, Cesar is legit. And uh, he definitely hung with the big boys in the last one. And he's doing it today. So we'll see. He's hung, but he hasn't won. <laughs> True. 
And everybody's trying to get this tournament championship, and there's no asterisks on this one. People have been playing the most are here, and I feel like these are some great teams that will be competing in just about any Killer Queen tournament for the finals. And uh, right now we got a Bunny Fairy game here. No Queens have died. Playing a little tighter. Nice kill by Paul. Gets to the ledge, gets his hover, and takes out Dan. Thought was smelling blood on that one. And this Barry should get in too, because they've got the edge, and we are down to four berries for uh, gold. Gold economy really stepped up this, uh, this series. Yeah, definitely. But four for both teams, though. Because there's no ledge guard now on uh, the gold hive. Three left for both teams. Oh, nice kill by Dylan. Good rise up kill. Two warriors sitting over there. Barry kicking around the end, and Carl went for it. I don't know if he should have gone for that Barry pressure to drop. Nice kill by. Oh, well, that might be a game breaker. Because they're getting in. Good middle Dylan challenge. can't do anything about that. Down goes Dylan. One Barry left. Left. Oh, it's a keep, high. keep the queen from getting to the hive, and Gold will win the round. Oh, he doesn't, though. He missed the dive. Oh, he almost died, too. This is it. Getting up. Oh, oh no. Take it in. Had to take it. And that's no. it. Carl. Carl with the Barry run. What a play. 2 nothing. puffing seasonal. So seasonal comes out and decides that they want to play now. I mean, this is... Pick it up two in the final. They, this is a legit team. 4-0 I mean, now 2-0. 4-0-2-0. And there's something about the psyche of the reset. You know? And like, it's a new game? It's a completely new game. You take your time, you catch your breath. We've seen teams come from the reset, from the loser's bracket. You know, mm -hmm. set it, and then have a hard time in the second to best of You saw it in KQ7. Uh, you saw it in KQ10. You know, it happens. You saw it in KQ9. Like, we often see the reset by the loser's bracket team, and then they seem to run out of gas a little bit. So we'll see if Technobabe can dig down deep, come back in this one, and win it. Nice kill by Cesar. Start. Cesar's looping the match. They're trying to get some Warriors to play, and they do. They got there, too. They don't need any more than that. We'll see if Paul goes back to Risky Paul. So when Paul's playing within himself, they have been winning. And uh, right now, they've got an even Barry game. And like, Helen on the ledge, doing a good job. Kick the berry into the middle area. Up, oh, it falls through. Yeah. Uh -oh. Cesar taking out Garza. In the middle. Up comes Dan. Dan's cracking out middle. Paul's going to grab all the gates. Nice Blue. dive. Ball just missed taking out uh, Dan. Blue down. On berries. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I thought he could have gotten that Huffing in. seasonal. Caesar hasn't died yet. Do you think he, yeah. do you think he should be a little bit more aggressive here? I don't know if he needs Oh, it. what a kill by Helen! And wow! I Helen jinxed him again. so quick on and speed. She moved with such speed and grace. Two berries left for gold. Unbelievable. Oh, Caesar. Oh, what that's a dive! That that's that's going to do it. Gold has got to get some berries in their hand. Why? Oh, they took the long route around. One berry Finally, left. They're going to get in. Oh! And that's it. Three nothing, cuffing well, seasonal. They need to win one round. And Paul goes from doing nothing to dancing with Andrew like a gigantic. Did you? I don't know. What that I'm not gonna finish that word? sentence. But <laughs> it, it's amazing how attitudes and moods shift as your team wins in this game. I'm not, I'm not from sure sullen what... to from dancing around and rubbing it in in the span of five minutes, roughly. <laughs> Here we are, sure. round four. Round four, three nothing, cuffing Seasonal. Trying to take home KQ11 on this Techno Babes team. Paul wants it. Takes out Dylan, doesn't let him crack out of the left gate. Interesting play by Paul. Oh, return of the favor, no Warriors up. Finally. You know, Paul was playing mousing around the pinball game earlier. I think he's done mousing around. I think he's catting around now. Yeah, he's moving with a lot more purpose now than he was before, for sure. Uh, he looks real confident. He's you know, going ledge to ledge and keeping his head protected. It he's he's trying good. to keep the gates closed, which is a big change from, from the first sets of rounds. Oh. Didn't do it this time. Didn't find Paul grabbing order. all the gates, going to make Cesar come out of his hive to try to keep it open. They have, again, they have a very lead. And there's Helen doing ledge work really well. Garzon's the high clear. Gotta like what Garzon's doing out there. Oh, Paul, watch your head. Oh. So underneath Dan, and Dan can't make him pay, but he oh. takes Dan out. And this could be that was big for them. If they Golden. can kill Dylan, free cargo will happen. And they look, oh, just missed the kill. Oh. Dylan stay alive. Look, oh, oh there it is. is. Wide open. Two too. berries left for the, for the finals here. And oh, oh what a kill by Garzon. Yeah. Man, Garzon, is he the MVP? Helen? Helen Garzon's put the MVP trophy? 
I don't know. I so. And there it is. Cesar is down. Two berries left. And he is yelling. He is confident. Dan doesn't have speed. But it's going and it's over, it looks like here. One berry left. They don't have up. It's it. This will do it. And there's your champions. Cuffing Seasonal. KQ11. Paul, Helen, Dave Garzon, Poe, and Carl Marshall come back in the reset. Win 4-0 after going down 4-0 in the first one. Really well played finals. I like that. And Techno Babes, twice the bridesmaid, not the bride. No, that's all right. You know, and, and they. Because you know who gets laid on, on, at the weddings? The bridesmaids. The bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah, the bride yeah. gets too drunk and goes to bed. Yeah, pretty much. They get, they're going to all get naps after this. You know, I think Carl and Poe had a really, really good out. job running that eco. They really did do no, a job on eco. Well, it's called eco. Eco. Hey, where are my skills? You're going to the pump? No. no. No, you don't like it. <laughs> so, it's just one Aaron extra letter. Like it. It's just one extra letter. I like to start so, things as much as possible. Huge job there by Paul. Really well done. Really well done. So, so what are we doing tonight? I don't know, I'm gonna go up the block and watch this UFC fight and see a real shit talker. Yeah, right? Mmm, strong. Uh, oh, what? Uh, Alright, well, we want to thank you all for joining us for KQ11. Oh, the only thing left is the uh, trophies that we're giving out. We've got a beautiful little plaque. Are you gonna go later? And, uh, I guess golden skull trophy. Yeah. Very interesting. And of course, the championship belt. Yeah, man. Wow. Really well done. Really happy for Helen. It's her first number tournament win. It's really first number tournament win for Poe as well. Yeah. Garzon adds to his tournaments. He won uh, six, mm -hmm. eight, nine, and now 11. Wow. So Garzon, and he's won a number of random tournaments as well. So that's four of uh, the last six tournaments. Garzan's been a champion. Mm. Gotta give him credit. He's quite yeah. a player. He's excellent. Excellent place. Great place for everyone today. I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed commentating with you. Yeah, always, always, yeah. always a pleasure. This tournament was pretty... Uh, we got it done in just over two hours. Excellent. I like that. Really well timed. And uh, Paul gets to take home the triple golden skull trophy. Put that in front of the cam so people can see that. Paul. Yeah, show, show the camera. Show the camera what that gold. Look over on the right. uh, blue side. Blue you get to see what our trophy looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, There's look at that. Paul oh, Paul's, Paul's it kissing it. Paul feels good. He's won random tournaments as queen. Now he's won a number tournament as queen. Uh, maybe we can get him in here for an interview. Uh, sure, you like Dr. Paul. Paul yeah. Step off. Okay, I'll talk to Paul. Paul, take a seat. Let's talk. Uh, so, Paul, you uh, you got to the finals. You won. It's your first number tournament championship. How do you feel? You gotta let the skull speak for yourself. Yeah, I don't, I don't need I don't need real words. Um, I, I'm I'm very happy right now because uh, certainly like one one of my one of my uh, brags was <laughs> I love how Neil saying Paul face in the chat. Yeah. Um, oh, I gotta take a photo real fast. So talk about how that and what you were thinking going into the reset after being down four zero. And I'll be back. The seasonal legs does continue. Um, I mean, I, I, have, I have said in the past that uh, I, I'm the only guy here who's won as Queen and Warrior in a tournament. Uh, that was kind of false because one of them was a random and my team was stacked. And uh, now I can say for real, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. <laughs> um, so. This should not be on the stream. This should not be on the stream. Close the stream Chuck's now. Is, Chuck's is giving me. If you're listening, turn it off now. Hey, will you, you guys just like let me talk to my legions of fans or something? Um, so, so Aaron asked me how I felt about the reset. Honestly, uh, all, all of us. There's one out there. Oh yeah, yeah, David Garzon's here as well. Uh, Garzon, I, I, I think we can both safely say during that first uh, set when they reset, uh, we were all playing mm, probably a little too nervous we, with we our self-imposed tag of champions. Right? <laughs> yeah, we, we, Helen? we were. Helen's here too. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Okay, carry on, David. Sorry. Oh shit, that plays music? Hell yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean I mean just just generally, generally speaking, we played we played a very nervy uh, first set when we yeah. kind of, we kinda of expected to roll through it, I think maybe. Um and, and I think I I think like the one phrase that that I know I used before we went to the second series and I think everyone was like we just we just need to tighten up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we weren't executing. 
I think that was the biggest thing. We were we weren't executing. We knew what we had to do, but we were just weren't pulling it. Yeah, ex exactly. And uh, I, I feel I feel like these uh, these series when you beat somebody in the uh, regular tournament and then you come up to the actual finals, it's, it's sometimes it's like it, it leaves you with a sense of. Garzon destroyed me. At, le at least, last at night, least you have a false sense of security. Last night, Garzon got me drunk. Okay. And, uh, and Frankly, that, that's what came through today. Is that I was. This is true. This is true. Uh, David did actually tell me that he bought two shots of Dylan. Yeah. I, I, I Dylan, had three shots though. Dylan, <laughs> Dylan did buy me a beer though. Yeah. Uh, and he bought I, me a shot, so I had, I had three. He only had two. Uh, frankly, frankly, I I, I don't uh, think this, this this interview is going to be working. But right yeah, now. Garzon, huh? 